It's going. It's going? <laughs> it's going? It is going. It's going. Okay, so are we still, you had an, uh, a thing on annotation last week, right? You learned about that. Are you still annotating text as you, as you research? For you guys. <laughs> okay, so annotation is a strategy to help us break down a text. And it's about us having a conversation with the author and what's going on with them. Okay, so I normally divide my annotations into like three main categories. One is like ideas, one is um, our. Hold on, hold on. One is connections and one is questions. Okay, so I need someone to help me. Will someone pass me that marker? The follow up one. Thanks. Is this gonna mark on this board? Uh, I know. <laughs> There's an expo behind you. Much more professional. Thanks. So if we have an article. So if I have an article about about aging, right? I should have written this beforehand, didn't I? But talk among yourselves while I'm writing this. Dibs on the back. Dibs on the back. Everybody can get a piece of candy, you five. Yeah. I want the Twix. Kelly, I want the Twix. I wanted the Twix. <laughs> Just make sure all the trash gets inside the trash. Office Park LARPing group? Huh, I do martial arts at ATA. Okay, so this is the opening couple lines of a, an article that I found online. It said, it might be possible to turn back the clock on biological age, a small new study suggests. The study found that a drug regimen appeared to reverse biological age. So as I'm doing my annotations, the first thing I'm gonna think about is my ideas. So do any of these things um, elicit a, a reaction from me? Do they make me feel something? So I thought maybe to this sentence I would write on the margins, I didn't think that was possible, right? These are my ideas, it's my reaction to the text. What other personal reactions might one of you guys have to, to the study? Yeah, how long can you reverse that? Skipping ahead, this is questions, so great. Yeah, any other ideas? Yeah. It, when it says it might be possible, um, care to elaborate? Good. How much, That's research, really good. How much research have you done? Right. Any good, 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 good. Any other comments that we might have on just reading these first two sentences? No. Okay, so you guys are just right on. Because right after our, our ideas, the next step is our questions. So I would write, you know, my ideas, I use a symbol. This exclamation point for me means ideas. And I put, wow, I didn't know that. And then my second step is my question, right? Um, it might be possible. So I put my question mark. Who's talking here? And how much research did you really do, right? What other questions do we have? How long? How long? Oh, 
small and new, so how credible is it? Question, how credible? And this one, maybe like right here, we'll just draw them in. Okay, so just in two sentences, I've already got a bunch of annotations that are helping me think through what I'm actually reading, okay? And then our last step in annotations is connections. So I thought here, the study found that a drug regimen appeared to reverse biological age. For me, that reminded me of a book that I read. This is my symbol for connections, because these are my family usually does smart. <laughs> Um, a book I read called Scythe. It's like a sword. So, have you guys read that? No. It's so good. So, then I've gone through my three steps. What other connections have you guys, can you guys make? Maybe other research you've done? Have you heard of any drugs that might reverse? Great, that's a great connection. So then I can write along the side, you know, drugs, here's my connection. I've heard that only uh, sleep, what was it, sleep and happiness, and happiness can do that. And they're surrounded by many people, they call it mm -hmm. So there are people that typically reverse the age, it just... Okay, great. So I've gone through only two, sen only two sentences with all of this, but you can use this, not maybe as in depth as, as we've done it here, but as you keep researching to help you make connections, synthesize your research, put all those sources together, and to decide how you feel about the topics that you're studying. Okay? Any questions or comments on that? No, you guys are geniuses? Okay, perfect. And then I have a lot of students always ask me, you know, well, how can I do this if I'm doing all my research online? You know, it's harder to annotate when you don't have, you know, all the digital tools that you need to do those annotations. I sometimes use the sticky notes app, and at least I can mark my annotations on the side, even if they're not connected to the text the way I might do it with print. Any other ideas for how I could annotate with a digital article? Yeah. You could copy and paste it, put it on like a Google Doc or a Word document or something, and then highlight stuff and put your own comments next to it and just even Fine. Definitely. And there's another hand over here. Is that your idea also? What, you got your hand up. Oh. Yeah? Okay. So yeah, you can definitely do that, and that would be a great way, even with Google Docs or whatever, to, to annotate along the side and keep record of all the research you've done so you're not repeating and doing research over and over and over again on topics that you already know. Okay?